Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many a True and welcome back to Hitman for Elusive Target 18, I think we're bloody up to right now, The Chameleon. Now this one's a little bit interesting, it's the first one in Colorado, and beyond that, apparently there's some other special conditions attached, so, this one should be a little bit interesting, what have we got going on here? Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Richard M. Foreman, a skilled infiltrator believed to be working with the militia on an unknown operation on US soil. The target is a highly skilled actor, and our files link him with a successful impersonation of billionaire Charles Vanderblatt, where he siphoned hundreds of millions out of the Vanderblatt accounts over the course of three weeks. The contract has two objectives, identifying and eliminating the target in an apparently accidental death such as a fall or drowning. Secondly, uncover files or data about the operation being planned. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay, slightly interesting one. We've got double objective, including finding something else. Now, probably that'll be in the main house if I had to guess for the laptop. Now, on they said that he was an actor. I mean, he's clearly identified as dressed in kind of military clothing with all of the stripes and whatevers. But if they deliberately flagged he's an actor, does that mean he might be disguised as something else? Okay, interesting here. Right, we'll start off in the garage, that's pretty close by, there's not much point starting anywhere but like in disguise because basically the entire compound is a restricted area, so 47 in the basic compound just can't really kind of move anywhere, which is a shame, because that means of course I can't actually be Santa, but what can you do, eh? No point in bringing the fiber wire, to be honest, we can't fiber wire our target, and if we want to do this silent assassin, well, the one good thing is... If the objective is only killing with an accident, that means he must be set upon a route where there are accidents. And Colorado has a lot of accidents that can be pulled off, but non explosive accidents. So I know he's going to be on a route where I can make an accident happen. So if I can just make an accident happen, find the files, then get out, that's a guaranteed signed assassin. So basically, this should actually be like you're most of the way to a signed assassin guaranteed just by doing the basic criteria. So that'll be nice. Let's see if we can make this happen, shall we? Good morning, 47. Welcome to Colorado. The target is notorious for changing his appearance and mannerisms. You will need to sweep the compound to locate him. Remember, you must eliminate the target in a manner that appears accidental. Avoid explosives, as these are too likely to draw close attention. Good hunting. So we don't necessarily know he's going to be dressed as I might be expecting him to be. Got it. And Colorado, I'll admit, is probably the level I actually know the least of pretty much all of them. It's a fairly busy level with a lot of things and a lot of people moving around. Because, of course, there's the four targets in the main game. So, need to find him. And this could be a little bit on the tricky side. That's the explosives area there. The entrance area down here. And then the area where loads of people are just sitting around. Now, where is he gonna be? Hello, we've got ourselves a laptop right here. Might be, oh, that's just a blend in, unfortunately, not the actual laptop I need. That's turn off server just to get the attention of a hacker, though that might not be the worst thing in the world to be disguised as. Still no more signs of flipping laptops yet. Aha, here we go. We have got ourselves a laptop upstairs with all the hackers. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. I think I bumped into that guy shattering his drink and he just apologized to me. He must be British. So yes, we've got the files. Upstairs here. We now know where the files are there. Upstairs in the house itself. That's not- Oh! We've just found the guy! Right, he is also upstairs in the house. Well, that's good to know. And he's also weirdly on his own. I just got a sudden urge to sneak up behind him and firewire him, but no! No, don't do that thing, because that's not an accident. Now, I don't dare retrieve the files right now, because if I retrieve the files, that might lock in this attempt, and I've already been spotted on camera, and I can't remember where all the bloody things are to get the tapes. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to watch this guy and figure out where he's going, or whether well, there's anything else I can use in this room. What's this laptop, by the way? That's the Ah, that's the 3D printer for the mask if you want to get into the final room normally. And that's retrieve files, so that's the actual quest thing. Okay, so he's getting okay. ready to do a job impersonating some person in the Air Force to access Nellis. That's probably where there's planes or something. Now, you can't see through this disguise. What are you planning to do, my good man? Now, probably the best thing that's we can order. do here, then, is... Yeah, we've got the guys outside there... He's got a bottle of water he drinks from. If I simply wait for him to stand, and then I get a vomiting poison in that drink, he will make his way to a bathroom. Drowning 
is an accident. Drowning in a toilet totally 100% counts. Now, poisoning the water bottle is a crime, and I don't think I'm going to be able to be anyone for whom it's not a crime, because there's no waiters or anything in this level. It's just like the guards or the hackers up here. So I'd need to do it while he wasn't looking. Potentially, I could do that by just tossing a coin and then getting him round the corner. Yeah, that'd probably be the best way to do that then. We just need to start off from any location, use the leap to get upstairs, get ourselves a hacker uniform. Possibly as a hacker, we'd need to get one or both of these guys out of the way. But as a hacker, then the elite guard outside the door won't mind me. Then we simply poison his water, follow him to the bathroom, drown him there, grab the evidence on the way out, and simply walk out. Should be pretty nice and smooth, all things considered. In which case, let's save ourselves the trouble of getting hold of some poison, because of course I've already unlocked some nice poison here. Unfortunately, I could actually start as a hacker if I'd actually unlocked more of the stuff in this mission, but I haven't actually bothered to unlock most of the stuff in this mission, so we're just going to have to infiltrate the house. But that's not too difficult to do, to be honest. This should all be pretty smooth and quick anyway. So, start from Garage. Head straight out to the side door. Just need to figure out where all the cameras are and aren't, to be honest. We just head straight over here towards these trucks and the house. In the side of the truck, we've got ourselves the elite militia outfit, which we can change into nice and quickly without anyone getting too suspicious. So, up here. And now, just change, which makes people suspicious for a moment, but not suspicious enough. In we go. Now, we just need to figure out the right approach that doesn't involve a security camera. There we go. Window. Spot on. So, we simply climb in through the window, which no one's too fussed about. So, we found ourselves a point for this guy to enter. Now, I just need to get hold of a hacker outfit, which is easy to do by luring a hacker through to make sure there's no more. And there should be cameras inside, to be honest, but we should be fine. Now, I can just lure a hacker into here. Nice and easy, because we have indeed got the turn off server option right here. This room should be nice and quiet. He'll come and investigate that. We grab him. We simply pull him down around here. And then I believe that should be him. Nice and safe. So that should be 100% fine. So simply turn off server. Drag him around here. Never saw me. Unconscious, not dead. Everything's fine. And the body will never be found as long as it is here. There we go. Now I'm a hacker and almost nobody should be suspicious of me at this point. Now the only problem is some of the guys upstairs will be suspicious of me at this point. So both of them just move around. What else do we have here? We've got this thing, but I suspect that would draw that guy's attention, not the hackers. If I can just pull the hackers round the back here, then... Ah! Unlock door. Slight problem. Don't have the key to get into his private bedroom. Okay, possibly should have brought the lock pick anyway. Actually, wait, no, 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 don't actually need it because I know where that is. It's downstairs in the kitchen. So we just go around here, round here, and we can grab ourselves the key. You apparently don't see anything. There we are, got the right key for that. Beautiful, didn't need to bother anything there. Actually, a thrown coin will get him round this corner nice and easily. You two guys will just sit forever in there. You'll never see anything because you're hiding around there. Then all I need to do is bring you in here, unlock that door with the right key. I don't think anyone ever comes in here. Rose comes in here occasionally. I think you actually see like one of the targets will actually come in here. I'm moderately confident that when I get the vomit poison on this guy's drink, he'll come here. And then, well, this is technically trespassing, but I don't think anyone's going to come in here. I want to say no one's going to come in here. There's someone already literally in here, by the way. We might just want to get that person down just on the off chance. Oh, no, 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 we can't because he's on the move. Right. Well, I've possibly just screwed this one up. No, he's just going over to a different one. Is there a... I think there's a... Yeah, there's a cupboard here to hide bodies, which is fine. It would not be the worst thing in the world just to get a couple of these people down and out of the way, to be honest, just so I've got a nice clear run. Right, subdue. There we go. Nice, easy, quick subdue here. Right, body number one gets hidden in here. No one will ever find that. Let's just also quickly move the... Oh, a cowboy bust. Very nice. We'll just grab that in case we need a throw a ball. So now, all we need to do at this point is, yeah, with that door open, I think there's another bathroom in here. We just need to get the right hacker into position. There's one hacker there, and there's one hacker there. 
So I need to wait for the right hacker to be close enough that he can hear a thrown coin and then I can just draw him out here into the corridor and we'll get him down. Coin right over to there. Did you hear that by any chance? I think you did. But you'll go Oh, you're going the wrong way. Oh, fo 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 okay, where's the where's that guy? I need you to go around the corner where no one will see you. Now I'm hoping the guy at the end won't see this. Darn it, didn't work. No, because the other hacker came back. Right, let's try this again. I mean, the alternative is we just say screw that guy and we don't actually bother with him. All we need to do is find the right moment, though, admittedly. The right moment is going to involve... Wait, where's our guy? Where's our guy? Where'd he go? Does he not arrive? Oh, no. He was there. I just... My god, his powers of disguise are far more powerful than I anticipated. I mean, I could just wait for him to be, like, over there, toss going to distract him, go in, drop the poison. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, if I can just stop getting myself spotted for a second. Yeah, ideally, both of these lads do need to go down. I wouldn't mind taking you down as well, but then for you to go down, potentially I'd need to take you down so that... Oh, yep, it gets complicated very quickly. Now, don't worry about that. Just both of the hackers I do think need to go down. But their routine is slightly randomised. I think this might theoretically be a good point to actually get one of you down at least. If I can just get you to pay attention to that. No. Annoyingly, I just got his attention, not the others. Balls. Okay, this works. One of their attention was just grabbed. It's not the guy I ideally would have wanted it to be. But it's enough. Oh, why are you round there? You're the wrong side, you bastard. That looks like a false alarm. Try and get you down, try and get you down, try and get you down. Stay still, stay still, stay down there, stay down there, stay down there, stay down there, stay down there. Stay down there for a second. Damn you. And... Drop. Apparently, I need to do. Oh, flip to unlock a door. You need to. It needs to be unlocked ahead of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't see him. Don't see him. Don't see him. Okay. Hacker number one, out of the way. Now, however, I just need to make sure that that guy doesn't see anything. See oh no, no. Now's not the right moment. Right, that should be a fine moment to get you in here. Lovely pick up a new cowboy bus so we've got plenty of throwables okay next up we've only got one guy left in terms of a hacker being left so if i can just lure him around the corner now life is good ah now this is interesting my hacker enemy takes regular drinks Okay, well, life is suddenly a lot more interesting, isn't it? Right, I'd say, possibly, we do need to get ourselves a little bit of rat poison. No reason why two people in a row can't get poison, because I know for a fact that... Sorry, I'll stop being suspicious. I know for a fact there is more rat poison in this house. There it is, rat poison. Lovely. And perfect timing, I'm pretty sure he's just had himself a drink. So, in we go. No one around here. Rat poison for the hacker. We'll save the good poison for our target. And I'm moderately confident that he will go and vomit in the bathroom around here. Because I don't think there is another bathroom in this place. Oh, there he goes. Has himself a Oh no. No, you're kidding. The main target has decided he needs to use the bathroom at this exact, this exact moment in time. I need him to get out of that bathroom now, because this guy's about to start feeling sick and running for that bathroom at the exact moment I can't actually use it. Yes, that's right, you're done, aren't you? You're totally done. Yeah, you're feeling sick and you're going to be done in your bathroom. You're going to go away right now. Oh no, thankfully... Thank goodness he's vomiting into this bin, not into the bathroom. Okay, that's wonderful. Assuming you don't come out of this door right now, which you might do, because I don't know which flipping door you come out of. Nope, away he goes. Well, possibly a little bit. Where on earth are you going? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think he's coming this way. He might be coming this way. Don't come this way. Though, on the other hand, you've just decided to... Oh. Are you outside on the balcony right now? Do you go out on the balcony occasionally? Right, well, I'm not missing this chance. 
you're going there. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, no, if he doesn't go to the bathroom, if he goes to the bin, then that means, oh, this could be irritating. There's no, there's no container here, is there? You, my good man, are just going to have to come this way, and we're just going to have to hope that works. Because are you going to... You are totally going to see that, aren't you? Yeah, you know what? We're just going to have to move you around here and sort of work on a system of hopes and wishes. Right, so he spends a lot of time just chilling out on the balcony, which, in all fairness, we could just straight up push him off. That'd be fine, too. In fact, I'm starting to become worried he's not coming back in. A simple push eliminate here, if nobody saw it, would meet the criteria. The problem is, a simple push eliminate here, if somebody sees it, means this is locked in, and it's not Silent Assassin. Right, let's just wait for those people over there to not be walking straight at the house. Well, if there's ever a quiet sure. moment by this balcony, I think this is it. I'm going to give it a go. That is fine. Body found, but that was an accident. Like a fall. Now I just... No one's going to see through me because I've already got rid of the hacker. Now we just retrieve the file. Yep, just... Actually, no, I can retrieve the file anyway. I'm a hacker. I'm allowed to use a computer as much as I want. I really hope this is the file I want, by the way. Okay. And now we just have to leave. Quietly, with nobody realising what's going on. Now remember, don't get spotted on security cameras. We don't want to mess this up last second. Out we go. No one sees through that. Climb through here. I believe the hacker's totally allowed to be wherever he wants. Where is the nearest exit? Here we go. The bridge right outside the house should be nice and clear, assuming there's no security ca- Oh! Security camera right flipping there. Alright, be careful here. Here we go. One gate here with no flipping security camera on it by the looks of things. Can't see anything. In which case, out we pop. Job done. That should be Silent Assassin leaving by boat. Come on. Let's see if we've done it. Mission accomplished. Elusive target. River of Dreams. The Chameleon. Silent Assassin! Nice. That was, in all fairness, like much simpler than I thought it was. All of that uh, poisoning and dragging, by the way, turned out to be completely flipping pointless. Totally unnecessary. Could have just stood around for five minutes waiting for him to go out on the balcony and then just pushed him off and then grabbed the stuff and left. So made that a little bit more complicated than it had to be with a chain of people that needed to be poisoned and dragged to bathrooms and dragged across bedrooms and put into cupboards and diddly diddly dee. But whatever, I guess it made it more fun. Let's just call it that, shall we? Now you could certainly also get a much, much higher score than that if you happen to have unlocked the hacker starting position, which I never did because I just never really went back to Colorado because Colorado just isn't a great level. It's... Is it the weakest one in the game? I'd say arguably it is worse than Marrakesh. Marrakesh at least has some like interesting civilian stuff going on. Though I guess, uh, yeah, it probably is the weakest level of the game to be honest. So there we are, eliminated Silent Assassin. Happy with that? Is that am I two or three Silent Assassins since they did the reset of the rewards? I can't remember. I'm either two or three of the way to the five I need for the winter coat. Oh, I want that damn winter coat. I want that winter coat so much. My mind is telling me it's three, but I can't remember what the third one is. Never mind. I've got some number of silent assassins. There will be more elusive targets to come, and I want that damn winter coat. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nut, and that is a slightly overcomplicated way to do silent assassin in the chameleon. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've got plans. Dad, this, this is my plan. International peacekeeping force. I'm here to bring peace. It's a tsunami of monkeys. This is literally a tidal wave of monkeys. Whoa, 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 don't be here. Don't be standing here. Okay. Oh, you want more peace? Here, have some more. Have some more.